Here's a couple of good uh, theory kind of questions. So I've got two balloons, both the same size. There and there. Both the same size. Uh, one's got hydrogen in it, and the other's got carbon dioxide. Uh, the hydrogen when it floats, carbon dioxide sinks. How do the pressures inside the, the, of the two balloons compare? Well, uh, carbon dioxide is heavier than air, and so it'll, it will go down. But if they're asking for what the pressure is, it doesn't have anything to do with the weight of the gas. It's just, I guess, how many molecules are in there. And so um, if the size of the balloons are the same, then uh, that would mean that um, uh, the pressure inside both the balloons have to be the same. Carbon dioxide does heavy, way heavier, but there's a difference between weight and pressure inside. And so if they're the same size, I would probably say that that's Avogadro's law. So if you keep the temperature, um, and what else we keep in the same? So we have volume, pressure, temperature, and moles. So if the volumes are the same, and uh, the temperature is the same, so we're looking at the relationship between these two here, I don't know if we gave a law for pressure uh, versus moles. But if, this, if the volumes are the same, that means the number of moles of gas inside are the same. Therefore, the pressure is going to be the same. Uh, the next similar kind of thing, except the, the question is all about Celsius. So you've got a balloon, and it'll pop if it goes over 16 liters. So right now it's at 8 liters, and it'll pop if it goes beyond 16. And then they say they double the Celsius temperature. Problem with that is it's Celsius. And uh, Charles's law with volume and temperature, uh, V2, T2, um, that uh, it's the uh, Kelvin temperature. So say if the, if the Celsius temperature was 25, then the Kelvin temperature is 298.15. Whereas if you double the Celsius temperature, that'd be 50. In terms of Kelvin, though, 50 plus 273, I think, is 323.15. So there's not a whole lot of difference in the change in Kelvin temperature. So there's no way the balloon would pop. Hopefully that helps you with those two questions.